All right, everyone. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about planting bare rooted figs um, in the ground. And we have ourselves here a nice little bare rooted tree. Uh, this is a tree that a friend of mine sent me and you can see there's not much to it. Uh, there's not much top growth and this is exactly what we want. What I had done prior to this video is actually I came in here and took a number of cuttings off of that air layer. Um, off of that sucker that he pulled out of his tree for me. Um, so that's really what this is. And it's got enough roots to support it, to support a minimal amount of growth, really. Um, there's definitely enough root mass here to create myself a tree. And with those extra cuttings that we took, we'll be able to very easily root them and have ourselves more trees. Uh, what I could have done, because this was so long, you know, this was over, 18 inches in, in length, we could have laid this tree down into a trench. And by laying it down into a trench, like a tomato plant, as an example, a lot of people do that. We'll get roots all along the, all along the stem, and we'll have ourselves a bigger tree in a shorter period of time. Um, this is just my personal preference and how I'm gonna do it. But we get ourselves a hole here. We're gonna stick this down in here, really get the roots around this spread out and really get this thing as deep as we, we can. And um, I don't like planting my figs that deep, but because this is such a weak tree as it is, uh, because it's so young, because this is not really the best time of the year to be planting figs, it's almost Thanksgiving here in the Philadelphia area. Um, it gets very cold here very soon and I'm planting fig trees in the ground. In fact, the ground's already frozen. Um, for a short period of time. So um, it's a good idea not to do this <laughs> uh, at this time of the year. But if we're gonna be protecting them like we are, and I've chopped all these trees back down to um, six to 12 inches high, we're gonna cover them with the tarp that you guys can probably make out behind the, the hay bale here, the, straight, the, the straw bale. Then we're gonna cover them with some straw and it's gonna really help protect them through the winter time. If I wasn't protecting them at all, I wouldn't recommend this at all. In fact, this tree would probably die all the way down to the soil anyway, and taking myself some cuttings would be a great way to um, prevent that from happening, prevent that wood from dying um, so that I can make use of it. Um, so this is just a pretty simple method. We're really just sticking it in the ground, pack it in here nice and tight, um, we don't really have to water this in because it rains so much here, but uh, I think I might Simply because I'm going to be covering this whole area with the tarp very soon And the rain is not going to come in there and really get that tree dug in for the winter um, You know remove all those air pockets and all that I do want to mention a couple points about just planting figs in general here um, as you can see this whole bed right here is actually filled with I don't know, maybe uh, close to 30 fig trees. Uh, if you can believe it, we have three rows of them. And if I zoom in here, you know, they're all cut down pretty short. You can see there's a tree right there and a, a tree right there and so forth as we go down the line. They're all done in a very specific way. Um, they all are planted in mounds above grade. Um, in fact, this whole berm here that we planted in used to be a raised bed. And this raised bed we took off the sides and now there's a whole bunch of soil here that we've spread around and kept that berm intact. And we planted trees into that berm. And um, by planting these trees in here, we're getting ourselves uh, more soil temperatures, warmer soil temperatures in the spring. And that really adds up to the end of the year. It really is a significant difference. Getting our soil warmer in the spring is so, so important. So um, that's what we've done. We planted all of them in, in above grade. We've also added in some rocks here. We still have to come in and add rocks to the berm um, next year in the spring. And uh, these trees will be in production in no time. Um, this blackberry plant here is gonna have to come out and so are these other Marionberry plants, they're probably also gonna have to come out um, because we're gonna cover this whole thing with that tarp and it's gonna shade the whole thing. And um, yeah, this whole area I've just dedicated to, to the figs. 
Um, so those are my big tips here, guys, for planting a bare-rooted fig. There's really not a whole lot to it, but um, it's really about that balance from the roots to what's on top. You want to have more roots than you want what's on top. That's going to ensure with any bare-rooted tree, you know, you guys get yourself a bare-rooted tree from a big box nursery, a mail order nursery. Um, you know, they're going to send you this pretty big tree, but at the end of the day, you really want to cut that thing down to knee high because it lost all of its its roots, most of its roots, um, and you just have too much top growth. So this is a big little lesson here of cutting this thing all the way back to the base, leaving a couple nodes. It'll re-sprout and uh, it'll do phenomenal next year because of that. So thank you guys here for watching this one. Check us out on our blog, figboss.com. Subscribe to the channel. And also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, we have plenty of cuttings now for sale on FigBid, so check those out. We'll catch you guys soon. Take care, everyone.